Hello, we are discussing about gate 2015 EC paper. A 3 input majority gate is defined by the logic function m of abc is equal to ab plus bc plus ca. Which one of the following gate is represented by the function m of m of abc complement comma m of abc bar comma c. Okay, look at this one. First of all, we assume that one this is going to be majority function. That is 3 input majority gate. 3 input majority gate. Whatever the inputs you are going to provide for this one, it will give the outputs. So this is M and it is ABC, whose output function is given as AB plus BC plus CA. So the meaning of majority gate means whenever any of these two inputs, any of these three inputs, okay, whenever, okay out of these three inputs if two are going to be having logic ones then it is treated as majority whenever you are going with three majority is nothing but at least two okay so at least two are going to be logic one then output will be one so out of a b c if a c are going to be one or a b are going to be one or b c are going to be one then output will be one or at least a b c are going to be all ones then also output is one in all other cases output is 0 that is what the function of majority gets ok now what is asked is this majority gate is going to be consisting of inputs m of abc complement m of abc bar and c so first we will see what is meant by m of abc bar m of abc bar is nothing but simply m of abc ok with complement at the outputs so this is now m of a comma b comma c complement okay now next one is m of a b c bar m of a b c bar if you require at that time the c must be provided with inverter so you are providing a b c as inputs okay and here also you are providing a b c as inputs and you will get it as c bar a b are going to be actual inputs so it will be m of a comma b comma c bar now this is what outputs and one more is nothing but directly from c ok directly from c if let us assume this value is going to be x and this output is y and this is going to be z which is nothing but c itself if these three are going to be inputs for one more majority gate now this is 3 input majority gate again 3 input majority gate again and the inputs are going to be this one now this is required output m ok m required that is nothing but this function we are going to calculate so what I am assuming is entirely this is going to be a single block and this is going to be a single block and that single block is going to be having inputs as a b c and output is this one that is this is outputs so what is the relationship between a b c and the output defined by this equation m of m of a b c complement comma m of a b c bar comma c so for this one you must know first of all what is the value of x what is the value of y what is the value of z okay for all possible combinations of ABC then based on these three whichever is going to be having logic ones at least two ones or three ones are going to be present output will be one since it is three majority gates so So this is what the circuit given. Okay. And it is actual M required. So we are going for the all possibilities A, B, C. For all possibilities of A, B, C, what can be the value of X, Y and Z. Z means simply it is C only. Okay. And then after knowing the x y z values you can define it as m and then you are going to get a relation between a b c and m that is what the required question 
Now, ABC is having 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. These are the all possibilities. So, X means complement of this one. So, wherever you are going with two ones, there generally you will get the output one for a majority gate. But here complement of that one. So, you will get it as 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. This you will get. So, wherever you are getting two or more ones, their output will be 0 and other cases output will be 1 since we are dealing with complement. And next, Y value. Y value is same as A, B, C bar. A, B, C bar is nothing but you can write C bar over here which is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. This is C bar. Now you will consider A, B, C bar. Out of these three inputs, okay, A, B and C bar, whichever is going to be having more than two ones or two or more ones, then output will be 1. So, y is equal to 1 whenever 2 out of a, b, c bar is going to be at logic 1 or all the 3 are at logic 1. So, now 0, 0, 1 you have to consider a, b, c bar 0, 0, 1 output is 0 0, 0, 0 output is 0 0, 1, 1 output is 1 0, 1, 0 output is 0 1, 0, 1 output is 1 1 0 0 output is 0 1 1 1 output is 1 1 1 0 output is 1 so you will get it as 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 this is y case and z is same as c c is nothing but 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 now these x y z are going to be inputs for again 3 input majority gate and the output is the required m so 100 zero zero, number of ones is 1. So output is 0. 101 one, number of ones is 2. 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1. So this is what the output m. Now we are going to write m is going to be function of a comma b comma c. So sigma m of if you are going with mean terms m0, m1, m2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7. Then you are going to write it as wherever you are getting 1s. 1 you are going to get as 1 comma 2 and this is 4 comma 7. 4 comma 7. So this is going to be 1, 2, 4, 7. If you are going to minimize, then you are going to get it as A exclusive B exclusive C. 1, 2, 4, 7 K map. So this act as 3 input XR gate. 3 input XR gate that you can minimize 1, 2, 4, 7. So the right answer for this question is 3 input XR gate. So this is B is the answer. Thank you.